I filled in these holes, as you can see the finished product, and I poured uh, epoxy and, and hardener down in these, and it filled them all up, and there was a lot of rotted stuff where the wood was. Filled that up, and then I coated the inside of this front one where the chain feeds, so there won't be no more water getting into that wood there and, and, and rotting that, that uh, plywood in there. So that's ready to go. What I'm doing now, I'm just polishing, waxing this area because it's hard to get to when there's a windlass sitting here. So I'm just polishing this all up so I don't have to try to polish around it when I have the new one in. template for the deck plate and I gotta verify that's gonna fit on here and then once I have this made then I can drill a hole in the deck I just gotta drill one hole and then all these bolt holes then I can mount the windlass on the deck the deck plate on and then I can put everything together and then I can start worrying about hooking all the cables and all that kind of stuff. Did you make that? That's so cute. All the other stuff. Did you do arts and crafts? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. You're so smart. I've been working on this for about three or four hours now. I started yesterday by prepping these holes, filling in the holes. Then today I cut out the deal, I got the windlass in, make sure the, the bolt holes matched, and then I've epoxied the inside of this so the wood would be uh, sealed off in case water ever got in here. And uh, now I'm just uh, sanding off the rest of the epoxy. Then I'm going to put Sikaflex on the bottom of the deck plate, and we're going to put the deck plate on. And then I'll move the windlass the actual uh, gearbox and motor, and we'll mount it up underneath the bottom. And then we'll uh, stick in the gypsy and the drive down through the center, and this will be mounted. Then all I have left is the electrical work. Cool. So we've installed the, the Auto Anchor 700 series, the Maxwell 135 amp breaker. I've wired it up to the uh, windlass. Hopefully I've wired everything correctly. Mm -hmm. I haven't wired in the foot pedals yet or the, the, the helm station uh, control. But I've got this remote working. So now I'm going to flip the breaker, add power to it, and hopefully nothing cracks or pops. <laughs> Okay. I heard nothing. Okay. Now. What are you going to do? Let's turn this on. I can't read. Okay. What are you doing? Oh. It says it's locked. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Whoa. That was, that was right. All right, let's go outside and look. Oh, he's excited. All right, that seems to work. I still haven't hooked my chain counter on. I'm waiting on a cable. Uh. But once I get that, it's just a plug and play thing, and then I got to calibrate it so it counts the chain right. But all this chain is no good, so I got to buy a new chain. So we finished installing the Maxwell. It's completely installed now, ready to go. Uh, foot, foot switches work, remote works, chain counter works here, the chain counter works on the remote. And this is wireless, this is just, it's just got a bit of juice to it. And uh, so it's all wired in now. It was easy to do, I thought I'd have to call those guys. I did have to call Gavin there at Maxwell once, the tech guy. They helped me through a few issues and, uh, but it was a very simple installation. It took me about, uh, 
three days to do it all from the fiberglass work uh, to uh, putting the windlass in. Oh, the only thing I haven't done is the sensor, the chain counter sensor. I'm waiting on the lead to come in. They forgot to send that, but they should be here today or tomorrow. And then I'll run, I already ran a mouse string through the conduit, so all I gotta do is plug that in and, and uh, that'll be done. So we're in good shape, and I got a windlass that works.